Hello, I'd like to welcome all back to Deadly Rooms of Death with Gunthrow's Epic Blunder, where today brains make their entrance. Oh. So, so basically, what brains do is they make roaches smarter. As you can see, the Whoa. added intelligence makes them quite yes. spicy. Yes. Roaches in the house. The worst part is that they will now evade my tactical maneuvering, making me significantly less tactical. However, if there are multiple brains, nothing really happens. Uh, with multiple brains, uh, basically you need to kill all of them. If there's at least one brain, roaches go fancy. So that's pretty much it, actually. Uh, brains are very rudimentary game elements that do a lot with very little. What do those buttons do? Open and close that. Open and close that. I see the problem now. Why do I not want to just kill these fuckers? Probably because they can escape. Okay, so. Here's the thing you need to know about Roach Queens. In this scenario. Roach Queens have a really funkadelic AI when it comes to brains. They will try to go to the other half of the screen. I think that's how they work. Ooh. Brains made the Roach Queen smarter, too. They always stayed on the opposite side of the room from Gunthrow. You'd have to sneak up on them somehow. In an odd twist of fate, so here's another little thing you might want to know if they cannot reach you. Any roach-based AI, any AI will go back to normal. If I, this is why this is here. If I go in here, they will start functioning like regular roach queens once more. That's why I can't kill the brain, is because it's on top of him.
Okay, I can't go while she's up there. I kind of like that they avoid your sword naturally while well, this is in progress. <laughs> wow, that was uh, pretty clever. I like it. I like how nice and smart and clever and cute that was. I took a way too long, though. Descaran Tower. Oh, I see you broken walls over there. That's probably a bad idea, which is why that's the thing I can do. Um, what do I want the roach to do, if anything? Um, on and off, on and off. I want the roach to go back and forth between those two to constantly unlock and lock. Okay, so that was just open a way out. Um, then what's this? Oh my god, I think I just see what happens here. Oh man! Well, I think it's the first time I'm not going to be able to complete the level that I start in. So what the plan has got to be, I got to, I got to turn us around. Somehow. What does that button do? Do I need that button? Oh. What? But that just... Okay, so if I go in there, I cut my way around a bit. The road's going to be too fast, though. Like, the only advantage I get is if I go in here. Then I go around, I get him in there, I press the button, go around, because now I have the advantage. And I'm going to have to remember to do diagonals. Let's just do this. Let's fucking do this. Ooh. Ah! By the way, in uh, future games, probably not going to get the advantage of... So, here's the thing I need to tell you. In most future maps, uh, the, the, the developers of this game had a lot of issues putting down good checkpoints in later maps. This is not apparent now, it will become later in some of the, I think, uh, City Below, Journey to the Root Hold. We're gonna see levels that really need more checkpoints, but they're not gonna have them. Or there's gonna be a checkpoint, but you just don't have the turns to do it. It's gonna be a hood, and I'm gonna be very, very annoyed, but... I might as well do the room. Okay, what's the plan? The plan is once you're in, you're stuck. Okay, but the brain unlocks a way out. Well, let's start with the one that I like most. God, how, how even? In case you don't see the problem, they come from both sides, and I can't do anything to stop that from coming from both sides. That's impossibility. Gosh. Um, I gotta put my thinky parts to work.
I really, really have to start doing diagonals. I think I was onto something there. So, a couple of things. Let's talk about um, brain invisible objects. Because this is important, and it's kind of boring, but it's important. Brains do not see everything. Forget as much. I gotta do this now. If you are standing behind some force arrows, brains will think that you're behind a wall. This is called a brain invisible object. When a brain invisible object is between you and a brain, it basically goes back to normal AI. It's a way of manipulating to turn on and off brain AI without actually killing brains, and without needing to create actual walls. It becomes super clever later, but for now, it's something to remember when you're busy with things. This is actually probably gonna kill me. Yeah, I think I might have screwed the pooch in letting those roaches escape. Which, can I say that's incredibly rude, that that's a thing that can happen? The answer was really just as simple as being a little bit faster. If you're fast enough, you can do this without leaking any roaches, and there we go! Well, in case I haven't, I've said it before, but here we go again. Welcome to the real dungeons of Dreadmoor. Are you fucking bananaing me? I guess this is it. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to do this, don't I? Holy banana peels. It's all or nothing. <gasps> what? That's insane. Well, the best I could do is try to create choke points. Ooh. I think that's... Oh, I see a little sneaky, sneaky, beaky, beaky wall over there that's trying to be sneaky. All stealth-like. Which implies to me I could do that. I sort of bottom like a few of them. They can find their way. They're roaches with brains. They'll find a way! Mm. I hate roaches with brains. They're the brainiest. Mm. Now, I'm gonna take five minutes to just clear my mind and remember that I did this to myself! Okay, what's this? What's this? What is my plan of attack? plan of attack is that I'm gonna have to lure them out because I screwed the pooch on that one. In fact, I triple screw the pooch because I need to get an exit out of that place. Damn it. Wait, I want to start at the optimum position. I need to keep moving forward, are you kidding me? I can't keep- what do you want me to do? Let's look at the roach movements. I think- we Wait a minute. No, that doesn't matter where they come out of there. Hmm. Yeah, they can cross over there, it doesn't matter. But they can't cross over, which is what I'm supposed to do. These guys can go suck it. These guys get a minute. Okay, I'll m <laughs> Go!
God, I'm cheap. Good Lord in heaven. Oh, that was tight. Tight like hot leather pants. Mm. Tasty pants. I want to see someone else's play through this. Why are the two brains for symmetry? Come on, really? Oh, dear me. No. No, I want to see what's over to the right left because it's probably easy enough that I can still do it in this video and then call it quit. I'm gonna go in these rooms. And we got. <sighs> I don't want to do this, but... Why would I not want... Because if I kill the brains, they won't come out. You! You spiteful little bastard! I hate you! Uh, what? Oh, oh, no, no, I just have to go through that thing first. See, no one, no one ever closes that. That is dumb. That is really, really dumb. Nick, don't ask questions. Biggest thing that can... Like, roaches, if you got your back against a wall, you're fine. Oh, yeah, I said I was going to look at that room. How about we do that? Tell me I got a good place, because that was pretty good. Now, I guess most people would make their advance as they went, which is probably why I didn't do so well. Anyway, let's uh, restore. Let's select this room. Uh, F6. Wow. I've got, like, double the moves of this guy. Let's see what this guy's doing. Okay, MX Vladi, show yourself. Oh, my God. He's got the tactics. He's got the moves. He's got the... Whoa! He doesn't even do anything with the trap doors. He doesn't need that time. He's Slick McDick. Look at them slick moves. Oh yeah, he's got them slickish. He kills one every move. And then he made. Oh wow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, what a hottie. Ooh, so hot. I guess he got half my moves because he didn't have to go around the room twice. And that's what that's for, huh? Well. You're quite the... I had never considered going to one of the diagonals, but I guess that would have helped. But that was some slick swordsmanship. Good job! You get a 10 out of 10 for me. Oh my god, I can't believe this just happened. Clear. What is his plan? His plan is that I probably shouldn't waste a lot of time. Are you fucking kidding? No, 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 no. That's what I do later. I have to wait until he does that so I can get there. Is there any reason to even try? Because this is like a baby starter room, now. Is it shorter to go from the other side? 21, 16, that's zero. No, no, it's 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 smack dab in the middle. But what if I start from here? Ooh. 
might say, oh, well, that's one Roach Queen. One Roach Queen can make all the difference, kiddos. Once you're old enough like me, you'll learn the difference. Oh, the brains are gone. Sweet. <sighs> Sweet chimney. Well, let's see how this goes regularly. Okay, they get one. What do I want to do in this level? I... Okay, let's see. Let's let's take a close cursory observation as to what the battle plan is. I want to do that, and that that'll make everyone go out. What? Okay, so I know that the brains come last because they're over there. Let's we'll see what happens. I just want to see what happens. I just want to go and come go completely nuts. Finest men in the city. Oh yeah, they don't seem to home in on me, only specifically on Bethro Gunkin. Go, go, Bethro Gherkin! You're so goddamn clever, don't you? Well, you're only as clever as half a potato! You GLaDOS impersonator! Oh! We beat it! Wait, what would I... What, oh! Okay... Get your gherkins in a bunch, will ya? I love the word gherkin. General Drakendut, I've come for you. You have done well, Gunthro. I had feared the worst. Let's go. I must have my revenge. This guy's quick and clever. And he's got the moves! That was actually pretty good! That was really nice. Other than some of these, which were like... <laughs> Overall, I loved it. I loved it. It's pretty cool. I like seeing brains in action. Very clever. Very smart. I guess that's why they're called brains. Whoa!
This time, oh no, I'll just open the game later. Like, wow, just so impressed with what they were able to do with this. Considering this is supposed to be baby mode map, oof. I fear the adult mode maps. Unless this, unless the whole baby mode thing is just a spiel, and they're like, ha, ah, it's actually quite difficult. Whoa. Like, why is there no shortcut to that place? Ah, uh, whatever, let's just go visit the tent. Greybeard, are we ready to attack Inglow's Keep? Aurora Bladeseeker headed west to find an alternate route into the keep. She is cornered in the bottom of a canyon. Only reinforcements could save her. You mean me? Like, I try this, dude. Ugh. Whoa. I'll give another shot. Just... Whoa. You know what? Whoa. If I do find myself at an entrance to some place, I'm not even gonna go in. The Twainan forces have Aurora Bladeseeker trapped to the east. Bring reinforcements. Ah. Uh. Uh. Gun throw, we get it. You don't like touching things. But no one has to be bothered by the fact that you don't like touching things. I imagine every time he does that, what really is going on is that he just bumps into shit like an idiot. I can't do this. Oh, Wait a second. What happened to those roaches up there? Whatever happened to them? I win now, roaches. Who knew that I would win the international competition of ski wasting? This map looks like it's gonna be a long one, though. Oh well, I was in it in the long for the long haul when I started, so who cares? Gosh, you're such jobbers, roaches! Oh, there's the little... okay. Uh, I don't think I want Mr. Roachy Roach to touch anything. Yep. So is this even the answer? No, seems to be the logical one. Um, I think I want to go to lower first. Or I can come from above? No. Well, no, that seems to be the answer. Get over here, jobber. I love that term, jobber. No, 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 no,